the, the big question, what happened in the, the early months of uh, Ramadan? At the best of time, this is one of the most sensitive and, and, and volatile times in the relations between Israel and Palestinians. And we saw in 2021, you know, how uh, riots in, in the, the Al-Aqsa Mosque led actually for a few weeks of, of war. And it, in, 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 under the conditions that the Israeli Palestinians actually engage right now, it's, there is an increased risk of anything igniting uh, another, whether it's a full-scale intifada or, or, or other political violence. Bear in mind that the head of the Israeli, the Minister of National Security, uh, Itamar ben Gvir, already pushed a decision that Israeli Palestinians would not be allowed to uh, to pray on the Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is basically illegal because they are they are citizens, and this might also ignite uh, uh, the situation there. I mean, the, the, the lines themselves are pretty much starkly drawn then uh, by Benjamin Netanyahu as well as his uh, government in this regard. I mean, where, do, where does the international community then put its focus at this time? I mean, do they, do they ap apply as much pressure as they possibly can, which I guess they have done already uh, and have been doing on Benjamin Netanyahu? Or is this a case then of trying to find uh, just an, a way to get more aid into Gaza and the surrounding areas? Well, if you judge it by the, by the results, definitely there are not enough uh, pressure, not only on Netanyahu, but also on, 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 on Hamas to agree a ceasefire. But again, what is urgently needed is, is, is a say, humanitarian ceasefire, because this will see the release of the hostages. This will see more humanitarian aid is, is entering. But for this to happen, you need a united international uh, community that works together. And I think with the help of, of Qatar and, 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 and Egypt, also so Saudi Arabia, but the United States. And I think that one of the positive development is that we see change in, 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 within the, the Biden administration. What's the clip you just played earlier with Vice President Harris? You know, this is kind of being even more than a subtle, subtle pressure on Israel uh, that things need to change in terms of humanitarian aid of going into six weeks of, 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 of ceasefire. But the United States has the main cards, and it can put more pressure on, uh, on, on Netanyahu. But one act of this kind of pressure is actually inviting a member of the World Cabinet, Benny Gantz, to visit Washington and basically sending Netanyahu a clear message that they'll start moving to the day after Netanyahu.